What's up, Oak Dougaldini in the garage? Today we are hopefully curing a long-term annoyance on this here Jeep Grand Cherokee WJ uh, 2001. So I've got the Akebono style brake calipers on here, which are supposed to be the better of the two factory options. I think only 2000 and 1999 got the uh, TV style. Uh, and they're not supposed to warp rotors, but this one does. This Jeep warps rotors like crazy. See how good these pads are? These pads were put on, I don't know, 10, 15,000 miles ago. Uh, but the rotors are completely warped to the point where I'm worried I'm going to break something in my steering hitting the brakes on the highway. I mean, it's uh, jumping and jimmy jamming like crazy. So these rotors are coming off and, and we did something. We bought some real funky looking rotors. What we got here are some Ray Bestos, which is a good name. They are not really slotted rotors. They're just labeled as HD rotors. Look at these bad boys. How freaking weird these look. They got these crazy waves in them. Now, the assertion made by Robestos and others is that this will help dissipate the heat without the noise of full drilled and slotted rotors. More importantly, they were the cheapest option I could find for an HD rotor for this Jeep. Uh, I trust the name Robestos. These things are goofy. Now, a lot of you, I put, I put a picture of these on Instagram to see what people thought about them. And uh, the general consensus was, that looks pretty dumb, man. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> uh, a lot of people said, you're gonna get junk in here when you're wheeling. Well, I don't wheel this Jeep, so that's not a problem. Uh, but they, they contended that these little, uh, wavy lines here that are very 1990s in my opinion um, are really only going to serve to collect crud and be counterproductive. Well, we will find out. The reason that this thing warps rotors so bad, it's not really the Jeep or the caliper's fault. Uh, my commute involves going over a mountain every day and uh, I think they just get real hot and then when it's raining or something they get real hot and you drive through a puddle and whoosh, I mean you know how that goes. That's not a mystery to anybody, right? So I'm hoping maybe these HD rotors will help dissipate the heat a little bit and I will not have an issue like that going forward. Now my intention is to put these bad boys on today and we'll check back in whenever they're worn out. Whether they warp in five, 10,000 miles, we'll do a video and say, nope, they didn't really do any better. Or if they're, you know, 30, 40,000 miles down the road, that's when we'll check in. Maybe whenever we do a channel update, stay tuned. I'll let you know how the bad boys are performing. Additionally, I framed this shot very intentionally. For all of you wondering where the avalanche is, it's right there, she didn't go nowhere. It's just sitting, hibernating, slowly leaking all over the driveway. I had to guess the tranny ain't got nothing left in her, so. As soon as it warms up a little bit, today is the nicest day of the year we've had so far, about 45 degrees, obviously sunny, enjoying working outside even though my fingies are a little cold from hanging on to this big cast iron piece of garbage right here, but never mind that palm sander in the back here, I'm my idiot neighbor's building an arc. Oh, nobody told him that woodworking was last week on the channel. This week we're back to automotive. Anyway, a lot of you are probably wondering why I didn't just go for the drilled and slotted rotors. I was trying to find an affordable option because I am a broke monkey with a toolbox and I'm always looking for an affordable option. And uh, I just couldn't believe that Raybestos was the affordable option. Now maybe these are cheap for a reason, we're gonna find out, but I couldn't find some drilled and slotted less expensive than these. Uh, I found a couple reviews of people that really liked them. They said whatever, you know, I don't know how people judge brake calipers. Uh, usually you don't have a good way. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm talking to you idiots that I'm freaking jimmy jamming all these lug nuts on. Holy Halliburton, amateur hour. All right, focus up here, Buck. Make sure you get a little splash of the good stuff on these guys. What I was saying was, um, other than longevity, I don't really know how you would judge brake rotors uh, unless you're having an issue like I'm having where certain ones warp and certain ones don't. Now I can tell you that those hunk of American cast irons that I just took off were the absolute dirt cheapest option. Now another factor in this, of course, Eric and I were talking about this over the weekend, uh, it's not just your rotor that comes into play when talking about the life of a rotor. Your brake pad material definitely makes a difference. If you have a real hard brake pad material, your brake pads are gonna last a good long time which is awesome, but there's a very good chance that you're gonna wear out your rotor because you're putting excess heat into them. Now, for the longest, I've been kind of getting whatever was cheap and then on sale to make it cheaper. Maybe I was doing myself a disservice. Here's the thing, you got a couple schools of thought. There are a lot of people out there that will only buy the most expensive stuff for their vehicle so that they, you know, get the little horsepower sticker in the box and they can brag about what nice stuff they have. And then there are people that only get the cheapest stuff. You have to figure out what you can get cheap for your vehicle and what has to be bought expensive. Now these WJs, they will, uh, they will tolerate some pretty darn cheap parts. It's one of the reasons I love them to death. But maybe these Akebono uh, front 
um, brake calipers need a certain kind of brake pad. Now my entire life, I used these wherever silvers on that tan WJ over there in the corner, on the green one I had when uh, I first started this channel. We always use these wherever silvers, never had a problem. I started trying to find cheaper stuff. And by the way, I got these with, for $16 from Advanced with a coupon code. So, I mean, how much cheaper did I really need to go? Again, let's make sure we get a couple globs of the good stuff. You wouldn't want this side to feel left out. There we go. Paint that. If I can put cheap everything else and all I gotta do is get some slightly, slightly, slightly more expensive, I can't get the Amazon bargain barrel pads. Maybe that's what I gotta do. Now when you're putting these pads, I wanna be very careful because if you're not careful with this clip here, you'll accidentally put one of these on with that clip on there, which is literally a scam. They pretend like it's there for your benefit. No, when the thing is halfway down, that thing starts squealing. So you run as I guess I need a brake job. They're stealing your money. It's a scam. Oh, put about by the Nigerian princes of the world. Now, you may be wondering why I'm not reusing these brake pads. First of all, the conversation we just had, they're too uh, hard, I think. I think they warp these rotors for this Jeep. Uh, additionally, you wouldn't believe how violent the shaking was. I wouldn't be surprised if there's not some micro cracks in here. All I need is these bad boys to bust apart. I already said my wherever silvers were all of $16. I'll spend $16 for the peace of mind when I'm driving the junior monkey with a toolbox to daycare get the uh peace of mind to know that when i go to hit the stop pedal the stop pedal is going to stop me so there you have it friends the raybestos hd rotor on a 2001 jeep grand cherokee dub j ruby with the groovy 1990s saved by the bell wavy lines that allegedly do something make sure you don't get too hooped up uh, when you're coming down the mountain as she goes so like i said i will check back in on these whenever they fail hopefully that's in 30 40 000 miles feel free to ask me occasionally how they're doing but the answer is going to be fine if you don't see a video on it uh, if they warp out in five ten thousand miles those old ones worked out in five thousand miles i just ran them another ten thousand miles because i'm a friggin' amateur lazy monkey with a toolbox uh, until they got so bad that i was like all right i can't this weekend we're heading down to the shore the jersey shore seaside heights new jersey uh, eric and i and project dan are going to jump into the frozen atlantic ocean to benefit the special olympics in new jersey we're going to do the polar point we do it every year last year we did it that's where we first met project dan it was a real good time this year is going to be an even better time uh, if you want to know what it's all about check out our video from it last year or stay tuned next monday we will have a video on our experience at the polar plunge assuming i don't get pneumonia from jumping in the 40 degree water but uh, if you'd like to potentially donate to myself eric or project dan we all are raising money individually for the special olympics for the cause there'll be some links down below if you're uh got a dollar or two that you could throw into the hat we'd greatly appreciate it it's a cause that means a lot to us and we'd love to be able to raise a bunch of cash for him. Uh, this job looks to be eh, about done. She's pretty mint if you squint. So I'm gonna go ahead and take her around the block, make sure everything is locked in. Hey everybody, we took her around the block and all's well that ends well with Oswald. She's running real good. Uh, I do like being able to stop, hit the brakes above 40 miles an hour without having to like ease into it because I'm afraid I'm gonna get a hand massage from the steering wheel. Uh, like I said, man, we will check in whenever those decide to fail. Uh, that's all we really got, I man. If you got anything to say about this video or those brake calipers or other brake calipers or just anything life in general you wanna talk about, comment down there in the squawk boxes. We'll have a little conversation back and forth. If you like the video, by all means like the video, that's just common sense, right? Subscribe to the channel. Consider checking us out on Patreon, Etsy, and Teespring. Additionally, if you got a dollar or two, literally just a dollar or two, uh, helps us get to our goal. Go down below, see the links for me, Eric, and Project Dan's uh, personal fundraising page to try to raise money for the Polar Plunge. Uh, if not, that's cool, man. Just check back next Tuesday because you're going to see three idiot monkey with a toolboxes diving into the 40 degree uh, water. Uh, I'll tell you what it is, man. Everybody down there is having a real good time. Plenty of adult beverages. You got something like 20,000 people on the beach in various levels of alcohol poisoning and liver failure. The second you hit that water, man, sober as a priest on Sunday, I'll tell you what. So check back next week. That's always a good video. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.